Hey guys, so I am back with an empties video. I'm trying not to get behind, so this angle is just so much easier for me to film in, and I don't have to worry about being in makeup, and I can do it whenever I want to do it, and it's just so much easier. So I'm kind of doing this, trying to just keep myself from getting like way behind on everything. Um, anyways, hopefully tomorrow I can actually film like a legitimate video. That would be great. So anyways, let me just get started. I'm bringing you my empties. I don't know what month this is supposed to be. I think it was probably December empties, but whatever month it is, um, I'll just stick it in the title and we'll just get started. Some of these do overlap with some of the projects that I have had going on. I don't really have a rule whether or not I overlap or I don't overlap. Sometimes I throw them in my empties bag and sometimes I don't. I feel like there's quite a few things in here that were in projects, but if that doesn't interest you, then just skip through those products. Uh, the very first product I have is this Aveda in Body. Uh, this is just the thickening conditioner. I had the whole set, but this was this one took me the longest to use up. This was an okay product for me and considering the price, I don't think it would be a repurchase. To me, it was less thickening. I, I would think of it to be more as volumizing. The shampoo was probably a little more like you would think. It had salicylic acid in it and had different like things in it that maybe would help you grow thicker hair. But for me, the conditioner was more just volumizing. It left my hair a little bit tangly. I just It didn't add a lot of moisture to my hair at all. Um, I actually felt like it kind of dried out my hair. But it did leave my hair... Ugh, I would say slightly more volumized, but definitely not a repurchase. If I were to repurchase something from this line, I would get this scalp treatment. The scalp treatment was actually really good, and I am planning on repurchasing it. This product, woo, I'll lay it this way so you can see it. But anyways, it is the 7th Generation Daily Shower Natural Cleaner. Okay, a couple of months ago, I showed you guys the Method Daily Shower Cleaner, and I was like, yeah, it's okay. I'll probably repurchase it. All right, now that I've tried this one, there's no way I would repurchase the Method Daily Shower Cleaner. The fragrance of the Method Daily Shower Cleaner was... I think more pleasant, but it was also really, really overpowering. So you could spray it in your shower and then three hours later walk into your bathroom and be like, oh, what does that smell? And, and it was nice, but it was also, it was really strong. This one did not have nearly as nice of a scent. This one, this one was green mandarin and leaf. It kind of smelled like, I was going to say pine trees maybe, but it didn't linger. You sprayed it. The only time you could actually really smell it is as you were spraying it on. So it wasn't a big thing. This worked so much better. This stuff is amazing. I'm, I'm so impressed with this product. It is definitely on my list right now of things to purchase when I go to the store. Really, really recommend this. Almay eye makeup remover pads. I go through these quite frequently. I really do love these. I love that they're so thin. I've talked about that a lot. One thing I would like to mention, though, that I don't know if I've ever mentioned before is that if you do buy these and you think they're really, really dry and you're like, ooh, why do people like these? You have to store these upside down. For some reason, when you, if you don't, like the first top half is like really dry and then these are amazing. So store it upside down and then after, you know, the first couple ones you use, the liquid will actually start coming into the top here. Or I guess if you wanted to, you could flip them when you buy them. You could take them all out and just flip the stack of them. I do really like these. I don't use these as my, like, total makeup removing process. I only use these to, like, clean up under my eyes or, like, in the morning if I have raccoon eyes or something. I use these for that. Um, I actually just use oils or something else completely different to actually remove my makeup. So I do really enjoy these. This is a product my grandma bought me and she's so cute. She wrote on here, she used out of it. Um, she bought like a three pack of these and used the tiniest bit out of it. She didn't like it. She said it wasn't for her. So she gave it to me. As far as like the moisturizing body wash part goes, I did really enjoy that and I thought that it was nice. The two things I did not like about it 
or that it's very liquidy. So as soon as you open this cap, because it's one of these that you're going to pour out from the bottom, as soon as you open this, product starts pouring out of it, and it's so frustrating. Like you waste half the product on in the bathtub, and it's fragrance free. My grandma doesn't like fragrances, so. She's not going to buy something that's scented. This was definitely not scented. It doesn't say fragrance free, but it definitely was. It kind of just smelled like, um, yeah, yuck. I didn't enjoy the, the non-fragrance at all. So I added, after I used it a couple times, I actually added this Bath & Body Works Forever Sunshine into it. I find these very, very drying, so I don't really... If I do use them or if I get them for a gift or something, I'll just use them occasionally. So I saw that as a good opportunity to just dump this in there and have a scented, moisturizing body wash. It worked out really well, actually. Um, I have two more of these, so I'm planning on doing that again. I show this product a lot. It's the African Formula Sulfur Soap. Love these if you have problems with active breakouts, cystic acne. These are really, really great for that. These help them heal very quickly. It's not overly drying. Actually, I don't. I find them so much less drying than pretty much any other acne treatment I've ever used on my face ever. Um, love these. Will continue to repurchase those, and they're very inexpensive. I think I usually get them on Amazon in like a pack of like three or six or whatever. So I think they average out to be around $3 a bar. I mean, that is amazing for anything that claims to treat acne. Another bar that I have is the Cetaphil Gentle Cleansing Antibacterial Bar. I use these for both washing my face and washing my makeup brushes. I love them for that. I switch back and forth between whether or not they're antibacterial or not. I feel kind of uh, weird about antibacterial stuff, so I try not to overuse it. But my husband actually picked these up. Um, yeah, so anyways, I do really like these. I think they're nice. They're not drying. It's, these are for dry, sensitive skin. It's not drying. It's not stripping. I usually wash my face with these in the morning, and I will continue to purchase these. Sephora Colorful Blush. I loved this blush. Um, uh, I actually went to repurchase it, and they were sold out, so since I am taking a break from shopping, um, <laughs> I won't be purchasing it right now, but hopefully I will still want it in a little while because it is just a nice blush. I love the color. Um, it's kind of like a peachy pink, nice corally color. It actually reminds me a lot of the Maybelline blush that I'm trying to pan right now that I loved and hoarded because I loved. So I really did like this. These are pretty inexpensive and I will be looking at these in the future. All right, Marsk uh, Foundation. This was in sand. When I first got this, I thought that I loved it. I had tried it and used it a couple times, and I thought, wow, this is great, perfect color match. This is an amazing foundation. And then I came back to use it and finish it off, and I was like, oh, yeah, I don't like this. So I thought I would try to swatch it for you. Maybe you could see what I didn't like about it. Um, of course, it's not coming off, really, but... When you put this on your face, it was so glittery. There was so much little like mica particles in there, and it just was so reflective and so glittery. It didn't have like really great coverage. Um, I don't know what I liked about it so much, and even the color match afterwards was not quite as great as I remembered. So. This is extremely expensive. I don't know. I looked it up when I first got it, which was last year at some point, and it was $50, and I was like, no. And now I'm really like, no, because I don't even like it. So this is a declutter. This is the Toka Perfume and Stella. I just didn't like this. I'm trying to remember why. Oh, yeah. It just didn't smell good on me. It smelled really, really perfumey and just strong, and I don't know. I was not impressed with this one. I really enjoyed the hand cream though, so I was surprised that I didn't like this, but it just did not work for me at all. Seventh generation baby wipes must, you know, you got to have your baby wipes. I just grab these typically when I'm picking up all of my seventh generation products. Lush Rose Argan Body Conditioner. I love the way this smells. This smells like my favorite body wash, which is Rose Jam. 
Um, the skin conditioner itself was a little, I don't know. I, I, I would hesitate to recommend it because it's really expensive. I did enjoy using it and I am probably going to repurchase it. But for what it does and for what you get for your money, I just, I couldn't really recommend this unless you're just willing to kind of splurge a little bit. That's kind of how I see this. I see this as a splurge and a treat. It's not something I'm going to keep stocked all the time, but I do intend to repurchase it. It's just a nice, after you wash off in the shower, you can rub this all over you and rinse it off. It's kind of, it feels kind of waxy at first, but then as you kind of warm it up, after you're out of the shower, it will melt a little bit and leave your skin feeling soft. But the moisturization level that it gave did not last um, I mean, it lasted for me for 24 hours, but I don't have really dry skin, though. I think for anybody else with drier skin, this is going to be almost like a worthless product, and they're going to kind of feel like after a couple hours that they need lotion on again. Primal Pit Paste, I go through these like crazy. Love these. This is my favorite natural deodorant I've ever tried. I never stink. Um, it took me... Okay, I shouldn't say I never stink, but... I'm sure that occasionally I don't smell quite as fresh as I should, but it took me a little while to kind of adjust to them. After the, like, during the first like six months of using them, I would occasionally, very occasionally, get some irritation. But I've noticed I haven't had any irritation in over a year now. I've been using this forever. Also, the little black bumps that a lot of people get underneath their armpits. After I quit using antiperspirant and I've switched to this, I have not had any more problems with those. Those are completely gone. It's amazing. If you're still using antiperspirant, I really, really recommend that you give something like this a try. I personally only recommend the Primal Pit Paste. It's the only one I've tried that actually works. But if you do give it a try, you really need to give yourself time to detox and time to work the antiperspirant out of your system because it, it's not something that you're going to detox quickly. You may detox most of it in like two weeks, but after that you're going to still have things happening that you're going to have to adjust to. So, believe this was in a project, won't talk too much about it. Be uh, Beauty Without Cruelty Facial Cleanser, 3% AHA. I didn't hate this. I didn't love it. It was just too gentle for me. I like something a little more powerful because I do have a problem with cell turnover and that's one of my biggest, I think because I have oily skin, that's one of the biggest things about oily skin is that a lot of times we really need pretty strong chemical exfoliants just to encourage our skin cells to turn over um, so that we're not getting clogged pores. You're going to see these a lot. I do love this. Um, it's chlorine dry shampoo. It's the best that I've found. I've been continuing to pay a ridiculous amount of money for these. I'm still looking. I'm still trying a bunch of different dry shampoos because that's what I like to do in my free time. But I do, um, I do really like this. It's one of the best. If I want my hair to look good second day, I reach for this one. If I don't really care, I'll try something else out that's cheaper. EO Shave Cream. Favorite shave cream. It's inexpensive. It's moisturizing. It leaves my legs feeling nice. I don't love the vanilla scent, but they don't have very many scent options, so I guess I'm stuck with vanilla. Uh, yeah, it did actually leave like my skin feeling moisturized for many hours. I don't know if it was quite 24. I do love this stuff. Highly recommend it. Highly, highly recommend it. Finish this bad boy off. This is the Benefit Ooh La Lift. Um, didn't really care much for this. I think they still sell it. Definitely not a repurchase for me. It didn't do enough for me uh, to justify buying this or even grabbing like a sample size of it. To me, it was kind of a worthless product, but total personal opinion. Probably because I put it on underneath of my makeup, I didn't feel like it blended good enough to do anything over top of. So yeah, this was pretty much worthless for me. Jerleek. A uh, candle lit body cream uh, sample size. This was nice, not a repurchase. This is a declutter. This is the Bare Minerals Lash Domination. I cannot use, I swear, I cannot use any Bare Minerals eyeliners, uh, mascaras. I can't use any of them. They irritate the crap out of my eyes. They don't work. They're too wet of a formula. 
Um, this one I don't really remember, but they always transfer and just do bad things on my eyes. I have not found one Bare Minerals like mascara eyeliner type product that I could use. Oof, this one's dirty. I've had this forever. This is the Bare Minerals. This one was in Fair. I use this as a mixing color. Um, I honestly, I've filled this up and reused it several times. I'm just going to throw it out now. It's seen its better days, but I am considering that finished. Caudalie Divine Oil. This was like so hyped up on YouTube, like what, two years ago or so, or a year ago? Um, no. I don't, I don't understand it. It smelled okay. It was nice. But it's just an oil. You can, and so, I mean, this is such an expensive brand that there's no way this is an inexpensive product. Um, totally, I wouldn't waste your money. Just figure out which oil it is. And you can make it on your own. Burberry Brits. Um, this is a declutter, and I'm kind of sad about it because I really love the smell of this, but it smelled like pure crap on me. I would put it on and like 15 minutes later I was like, whoa, 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 that stinks. I can't wear that. So that's a declutter. Hula Bronzer was in a project. Um, totally finished this little sample guy off. I do like this. I have another one. No need to repurchase. Um, I don't think it's my favorite bronzer ever. And I don't think if I, if I didn't have another one, I don't think I would repurchase that anyways. It's okay, but I have found products that I actually like a little bit better, so I doubt that I would purchase that again. Almay Smart Shade Concealer. This is another one. It's okay. Um, in a pinch, if I were, you know, forgot my makeup or something, I would possibly purchase this one again. The problem with me for this, it was great, except for the color mix. Didn't mix well, so you were constantly trying to shake it up and keep it mixed in the bottle. It sort of separated. Um, but it wasn't old, so I don't know. There was no reason it should have separated. I like this. I like the consistency. I like the coverage. I just didn't care for the separation thing. This is the Bare Minerals Blemish Remedy Concealer. This is an interesting concealer. Um, I was going to see if there's any in there to swatch. Let me see. It's very, very waxy. If you can see, it's quite orange tone, but this makes it really good at covering up blemishes. Um, it took me a while to figure out how to work with this because it is such a waxy consistency, but it does melt once you start blending, um, and it does blend out pretty easily, but it will also stay in place all day. Um, this is my favorite blemish concealer that I've found in a while. It does have, I think, tea tree oil in it and um, maybe salicylic acid. I'm not sure. I could totally be making that up. I'm trying to get rid of all of my like little mixing foundations, so working through these pretty quickly. I have the Bare Minerals, Minerals Concealer and Honey Bisque. This was way too dark for me. Terrible, in my opinion, as a concealer. I don't like powder concealers like this, not for actually like concealing uh, anything important. <laughs> so, yeah, I didn't care for this, but I did mix it. I just mixed it in with my foundation and used it that way. And then I had this Jouer Essential Lip Enhancer. I really did like this. This is on my list of things I'd like to repurchase again. It just had little teeny tiny exfoliators in there. It did find it to be conditioning. I did find it to work a little bit, and I enjoyed using it. So, And I don't think it's very expensive, so I am going to purchase this one again. And lastly, but not leastly, we have the Anastasia... Beverly Hills Brow Wiz. I believe I use medium brown. I do enjoy this. I like the color of it. I don't think there's not much there to swatch, but it is kind of a cool tone brown. I have noticed that it comes off a little more red on camera and in pictures. Um, I find that to be sort of interesting, but it is a cool tone brown. Um, favorite brow pencil. I also like the NYX Micro Brow and think they are pretty much exactly the same thing. It's just a color issue with me that I like the Anastasia better. But I would buy the NYX um, again. So, either way. Those were all of my empties <laughs> for probably most of December, I think. Um, and we're two weeks into January. So those were most of the empties that I had going on. And thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys again soon, and bye!